I cannot be the only person that's like in love with Valentine's Day. What? Oh, stop it right now. Hi, I'm Nikita, and if we don't know each other, I make lifestyle and foodie content, and I'm a photographer. Today, we're doing a photographer photo swap challenge, Valentine's Day edition. I love like the pink and red and all the hearts and how everyone's just so happy and everyone's doing kind gestures for each other on Valentine's Day. I've loved it since I was a kid, single or not. People are happy and that makes me happy, so. Valentine's Day is in like two weeks and in Ontario we're still stuck in our stay-at-home order, our lockdown, so what better way to get some Valentine's Day content than to shoot them at home and get the other person to edit them. I'm doing this challenge with my friend Kendra. Here are some of the photos she shot of me in the past. Our styles are really different, so I'm excited to see how they're going to come out. Let's get started. All right, picked up some props from the dollar store. Valentine's Day gummy bears. Candy rings. Like ring pops. This is cute. I've got some heart lollipops. Remember when we had these as kids? They'd be like attached to those little Valentine cards. Foil balloons that say I love you. Stickers. Ah. Twizzlers. String hearts. I didn't really think they were that pretty, but uh, I like the reflectiveness of them. And I also got a Kit Kat because they're red. I don't know. I also have this box of Pocky that I've never opened. I just forgot, but they have like heart-shaped sticks. How cute is that? It's also imported from Japan, so I'm still probably not going to open it. Um, one day I'm going to sell this for a lot of money. It's got to count for something. Okay, I'll be honest, I didn't actually look for inspiration before I went prop shopping. I kind of just had the chance to go get stuff, but we're gonna look for some inspiration right now. Ooh, lollipop earrings I thought were so cute. I saw Peach PRC wearing them and I was like, wow. So I bought these and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure out how I can make them earrings. to do my nails right now. I they're just like little they're kind of busted so I'll redo them and I'll make them Valentine's Day themed. Set up. I just I am shaking. Let's get started. Where this is a joker. I've had enough of this, so we're gonna do an outfit change. I'm gonna get into a red top, take gummy bears, and I'm gonna take some glue and like stick them to my face. I don't know, we'll figure it out. My face, I don't know if I even like that. I'm literally using school glue. I also found this prop. I wish I knew where the old phone was, but I used to have one of the old iPhones when you we still used to have the headphone jack. You could plug this in. Okay, on this button right here, you could pick it up and literally talk like this. We're progressive. Oh, I look kind of crazy. This is tangled. I'm like so close to just ripping it apart. Little like thread thing. Like, is this worth it really? It's not, I don't think it is. So currently the files are transferring to Kendra. I'm sending her the raw files. She's sending me the raw files. It's taking a while. So it is the next day. I'm gonna open the files that Kendra sent me. Here we go. Look, Kendra left me. Files are finally downloaded, and I'm gonna look at them for the first time. I'm gonna put them on the big screen. Oh, stop it right now. You stop it right now. Are you kidding me? Got hearts. 
for the rings. A little selfie moment with the heart on the face. Oh, oh my gosh. That's her and her boyfriend, the kitty. Just want to quickly go through some concepts here. Quickly skim on camera. I'm going to obviously go through in depth with each one. I like that here the roses and the jacket almost match. I think we have a note from her. Look at this first. Hi Nikki and I wanted to challenge you by giving you a ton of lighting options so have fun. Do whatever your creative heart desires. Kendra, that's cute. So far I have picked nine photos. We're just gonna go and uh, start tweaking. Day. Guys, we've been working on this for so long now. Oh my gosh! Uh, that's really cool. I found like kind of like backgrounds I liked and then kind of incorporated them with like different photos based on how you looked in them. The lights, I was like, okay, I'm thinking like she would be in some like neon colored room. In this picture, I'm hearing muffled dance music like outside. Yeah, I like you're like, in a bathroom. I like your concepts a lot. You're, I think you're doing really great. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> first of all, I, like the first thing I saw when I saw this photo was like very Britney Spears just with like the hair. So I kind of made it like, I kind of played off the graininess of it and kind of like felt like it looked more vintage, like 90s anyways, based on the way you looked. I feel like I don't even register that that's me right now, but like I feel, I think it's just so cool to see something I've already seen, but yeah. different. just get to sit back and look at it, which I think is just, I don't know, it's cool. Again, just very simple, very light. Mar I loved this picture view and I was like, I'm gonna edit it anyways because I thought it was so good. So good. Like I actually would have made this a little more like warm tone too because like that's like how I lean towards in photos. But like, I know you're like, it's so clean and like so white in yours that yeah. like, I tried to like kind of go in the middle because I was like, you know, I'm gonna edit it how I edit it, but also- Yes, like, yeah. This is your outdoor one that you took. That was like basically just dark. Oh! Uh, Looked, I used one of my presets on it. I realized that like, if I shot in proper exposure, the sky was just blown out. So I was like, uh, I actually had no idea what the hell it looked like until now, <laughs> because it was dark. This is like the photo you did of just like your eyeball. I love that. And like I played around with like colors for so long on it because like I, it was just like all of it looked really cool but I finally like came down to this like eventually because I feel like like you look like it's like part of like a movie cover or a TV show. Like I'm still in that washroom like, looking at myself in the mirror and like checking my makeup or something. That's cool. I really like this like detailed shot. There wasn't much I could think of adding into the photo that would look nice, I guess. So I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna play around with the colors of it. And then at first, like I was just adjusting the lighting. I'm like, no way. I should just like completely change the color of it and then work with that because I feel like it just made it look so much cooler. I think this is my favorite so far. Oh my god. Wait, I'm so nervous to the rest of these. I had to do one of Mochi. Actually though, these photos were hard though because your sister's wearing white and then like Mochi's white. She definitely, like her sweater definitely looks a little blended to the background. The left side of your sister definitely could have been a little darker in that area just so her arm doesn't look like it's blending into the background. That one I just like, I didn't want to do anything crazy with it. It just was a nice photo of you guys, so. If I were to look at it for the first time, then I would totally think that this would be in a studio. And like, just like the way you guys are like, po like it looks just very fan, like we went to go take a family yeah. portrait today. Yeah, totally. It's so weird because I get two vibes from this. I get literally like the new like Mulan movie. I feel like that's like the color scheme of that movie. I also get very like it vibes, like Penny Weiss, like oh, really? because I feel like the way it's framed almost just looks like, like well, I, it is a balloon technically, so like, yeah. I feel like the whole theme of that, I never saw it, but from like the advertisement, it's very edited dark, and then you're very moody looking at it, and the ones where your face was more moody, I'm like, I'm gonna play around with the lighting more, because that's so why you look like pissed at something, and I was like, I need to make it dark, mm -hmm. edgy. I like like pictures with like kind of like weird framing to them, like I think it adds so much to it. You look really like elegant too, I think it's like the way your hair is, and like your face just moody, but I like that. <laughs> Yeah, some of them I make a straight face, 
and then I made a straight face, and then I just looked like a serial killer. Ooh. When I saw the ones with the Coca-Cola, I had a really hard struggle with like thinking it just looked too much like a Coca-Cola ad, like Coca-Cola is doing some Valentine's Day campaign. So I wanted to use this one because like the label was like pretty blurred. Layered on top of the parts that all are already red in the photo, it just like enhances the red. Everything is just accentuated. And I feel like you can look at it both ways where you're like more focused on the red diagonal stripes or you're like looking at me and like the stripes kind of like fade. <laughs> that, never mind. this is my new favorite. I love that you went with, with like quite a few of them. You went like this neon yes. route, which I think is so cool. And I love, I really, I don't know if this was, was like part of the photo already, but I really like the writing in the background. Really good choice. Like when I first thought I was like so drawn to it, but then I was also like, where am I going to use this for? And I had it saved in my computer for a bit. And then when I came across this photo, I was like, you know what? Like, I think this one is the one that I got to use it for. It's like you're at some like cool club. Like you are like the coolest girl in town. <laughs> like everyone, everyone knows who you are. You're sitting in like the VIP and you're like not giving a crap about anyone else because you're just like, I'm the best. <laughs> you have like a lot of like confidence in this world. Like you look like you like know you're like, ah, uh, like I'm attractive. The way like the poses and everything, so. It's cute. The balloons but, remind me of like the candy hearts. Me too. That's exactly the vibe I got too. And I want to keep this one really white because I knew adding the balloons in, it's like now very red focused that if I added a weird background or a crazy background in it, it would have been overcrowded. And it's so funny because I literally had Twizzlers too in my house. They, I was shooting too. And I was trying to, that would have been so funny. We could have had the same photo. <laughs> Both of us would have done this exact pose. Yeah, because like, I would have been like, what else do I do with this? <laughs> like, because I'd eat it, so. I love the whole gummy bear thing on your face. So I really wanted to like accentuate that somehow. So I was like, okay, really no background to this photo. I was like, I'm just gonna make this a black and white photo. It is. I know. If I was cool enough to have a mugshot, this would be it. Yes. I wasn't thinking this before. Like when I was doing it, I was kind of looks like a wave or like flames. But I don't know if it's because of the book reread or now it's colored. It kind of reminds me of like a butterfly wing. Kind of does. You're right. Like I got that vibe too from it. That would look more like a wing. Hmm. So what are your favorites? Oh. My favorite has to be the ooh -la, la one. I liked the neon pink bathroom one. You gave me a lot of like facial range that like, that, like for someone like me though, like that was perfect because like I just said, I vibe off of emotions and stuff like that. So even though you're just like against like a wall for a lot of yours, you like deliver in the face really what, that's what makes your photos. Cause like if I did that, like all my photos would look the same. Even if I had like the same makeup and stuff as you did on, cause I don't have that many emotions in my face to actually pose for photos, but you made each one look different, even though like, you would just bounce between like the two looks. Like I got like a different vibe from like half your photos, which made it so fun. I got to kind of like branch out in creativity. The fact that we were doing concepts in different ways. So like facial expressions versus like you with Andrew in a different setting or you did product shots. I like that yours like told a story and then and you made mine tell a story. Yeah, no, that's exactly, that's exactly it. You're super creative too, but I also think you're definitely more like technical than I am. You could see like through how we both took this challenge on, like take things in very different directions. I definitely like want to like print that photo off and just like have it, <laughs> like, that'd be so funny. Anyone that sees that, I just like, yeah, it's like my proposal, but. <laughs> To go see Kendra's reactions to the photos that I edited for her, you can go check out her video. I'll link that in the description below. Also, happy Valentine's Day by the time you're seeing this. We definitely would have put the photos on our Instagrams, so you can find this here. You can stick around for some bloopers or like this video to tell me that you like photo shoot videos. I always like those. I think they're fun. Just kidding. I have this giant bar of Toblerone. What?